Good morning, class. How are you today? Okay, let's stand for our prayer. Jonalyn, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, before you take your seat, kindly pick up pieces of paper under your chair and arrange your chairs properly. Okay, now let me take, uh, check your attendance first. Please say present when your name is called. Babanto Jonalyn. Bulawit Gretchen. Okay, everybody is present. Now let us all give ourselves an aho clap. An aho clap goes like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Aho, aho, aho. Okay, very good. Now class, who can still remember our lesson yesterday? Okay, Rowena. Very good, Rowena. Our lesson yesterday was all about energy. Now, what is energy? Yes, Therese. Very good, Therese. Energy is the capacity to do work. Now, there are two major forms of energy. What are those two major forms of energy? Yes, Ingrid. Very good, Ingrid. The two major forms of energy are kinetic and potential energy. Now, what is kinetic energy? Yes, Ralph. Very good, Ralph. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. Now, Ralph, can you spell kinetic? Very good, Ralph. Thank you. Now, what is potential energy? Yes, my Zach. Very good, my Zach. Potential energy is energy at rest. Now, my Zach, can you spell potential? Okay, thank you, my Zach. Now, class, what if I'm going to do this? What form of energy am I showing? Yes, lovely. Very good, lovely. Kinetic energy. Now, what if I'm going to do this? What form of energy am I showing? Yes, Janeline. Very good, Janeline. Potential energy. Now, class, I have here jumbled words on the board. Now, all you need to do is decode the words or arrange the letters using the meaning of, on its side. Am I clear? Okay. Now, I want, and I want someone to volunteer. Anyone? Yes, please, Janelle. Okay, thank you, Janelle. You may now take your seat. Now, class, everybody read. Very good. Force, a strength or energy exerted. Now, on the second word, who wants to volunteer? Okay, please, Joyce, come forward. Okay, thank you, Joyce. You may now take your seat. Now, class, everybody read. Okay, movement of an object, motion. Now, on the third word, someone, please come forward. Okay, please, Stephanie. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. You may now take your seat. Everybody read. Okay, friction occurs when two moving objects are in contact with each other. Now, based on these words on the board, what do you think will be our lesson for today? Anyone? Okay, yes, Eileen. Very good, Eileen. It has to do with moving objects. Okay, someone, anyone more answer? Okay, Wensi, please. Very good, Wensi. Our lesson for today will be all about force and motion. 
glass. Can you see the chair here? Okay, you can see the chair. Is it moving? Yes, it is not moving. But what if I'm going to do this? Did it move? Very good, it moved. Why do you think it moved? Yes, Altea. Very good, Altea. Because I pushed the chair. The chair moves because I pushed it. Can you see this bag? What if I'm going to do this? What happened to the bag? Very good. The bag fell on the floor. Because why the bag fell on the floor? Yes, Alexa. Very good, Alexa, because I dropped it. Now, can you see the door? Is it moving? Do you think there is a force on that door? Yes. No, there is no force on that door. Now, can someone volunteer to apply force on the door? Yes, Kurt. Okay, thank you, Kurt. Now, Kurt, what have you noticed when you push the door? Very good, Kurt. The door went away from you because you pushed it. Now, can someone volunteer to pull the door? Yes, Gretchen. Very good. Okay, thank you, Gretchen. Now, Gretchen, what did you notice? Very good, Gretchen. The door moves towards you because you, very good, you pulled it. Class, I have here crumpled paper. Now look at what I'm going to do with the crumpled paper. I will toss the paper. Now what happened to the paper? Yes, the paper moves from my hand down to the floor. So, if the paper moved from my hand down to the floor, what occurred on the paper? Very good. There was force and there was motion. Now, motion is the changing of location of an object. As you can see before, the crumpled paper went from my hand down to the floor. So, there was force because I tossed it and there was also motion because it went down from my hand. Am I clear? Okay, now look at what happened to this 5 peso coin. What happened to the 5 peso coin? Yes, the 5 peso coin is spinning. Why do you think the 5 peso coin spin? Very good. Because I applied force from my finger to the coin. That made the coin spin. So the motion occurred on the coin. Am I clear? Okay. Now, class, let's have an activity. I have here a box. This box contains materials for our activity. Now, all you need to do is pass this box from one person to the next person. And when the music stops, because I will make the music start first before you pass the box, so, if you, if you happen to have the box when the music stops, then you can get something from this box and then show to me how you can apply force and motion. Am I clear? 
Okay, now let's start. Go! Okay, now Janelin have, has the box. Now Janelin, can you get something from the box? And show us how you can apply force and motion on that book. Very good. Janelin showed force and motion by flipping the page of this mini book from one page down to the other page so there is a change in direction and there is motion and there is force okay next Okay, now the box is in Lovely's hand. Lovely, can you please take one object from the box and show us how to apply force and motion on that object? Oh, wow! Lovely showed how to apply force and motion on this tape by throwing it down. And the tape went down and it rolled on that, on that side. Wow, great. So everybody showed and demonstrated how to apply force on the objects you got. Now, class, what again is force? Yes, Janeline. Very good, Janeline. Force is a strength or energy exerted. Now, what is motion? Yes, Kate. Very good, Kate. Motion is the movement of an object. Now, what is the difference of motion? and force. Yes, Levy. Very good, Levy. The difference of force and motion is that force is the strength or energy exerted of an object and motion is the movement of that object. Very good. Now, I have something here. Let's have another activity. I want you to... I will group you into four. And each group will be going... Uh, one Groups one and three will go outside. And groups two and four will stay inside the classroom. And get one object. Each group will get one object and bring it inside or take out the object and then after that I will give you five minutes on this task and after that I want one representative each group I want one representative each group to draw a road paper here and apply what is written on the paper on that object you have chosen and after that, you will need to answer the activity sheet. I will give you five minutes. Okay? Am I clear? Okay. Any questions? Okay. Now, five minutes start. Are you done? Okay. Can you submit your activity sheet? Thank you. 
So any questions? Okay, none. For our next meeting, I want you to read in advance your science book, page 111, and study in advance. Am I clear? Okay. Now before I'll dismiss the class, please arrange your chairs properly and pick up pieces of paper under your chair. Okay. <coughs> that would be all class. Thank you. And goodbye.